actually getting out there and feeling like you're hunting an animal, I think uh, a lot of people like to, to choose archery because it's, it's just more primitive. Um, you're more one with, uh, one with nature. So we are with archery hunter Chris Malink, who also happens to be my brother. We're out on the archery range just outside of Boise right now. He's giving us a little tour and teaching us about the sport of archery. Chris, can you tell us about the bow and arrow? Yeah, absolutely. It might, this is Idaho Wild. This is Idaho this Wild. Is Here with we Idaho are. Wild. <laughs> oh man, that was good. So obviously this is a brand new range. It hasn't been open very long. Um, and it's, it's kind of special because it's a 3D range. There's not many 3D ranges around here, and especially ones that are free. Mile long course, you can walk the entire thing. There's 20 targets, um, anywhere from 20 yards to, to maybe 70 yard shots. It's an actual foam target that models like a, a regular animal that you would see in the wild. And so the cool thing, like I said, about this course is that, is that they're all assembled in um, realistic hunting type shots where it's downhill, uphill, in, you know, in the bushes, all, all, all different types of uh, environment. It's similar to like fly fishing compared to uh, compared to regular rod fishing. You know, you're you're spending a lot of time tuning your arrows. You're getting your broadheads tuned. You're spending a lot of time practicing your your uh, your, your shooting with your bow. And so, um, it's it's not something that you can just wake up, uh, you know, hunting season day one and, and go out and shoot. It takes a lot of practice.